Hey guys, we recently went on a walk as a family to a fairy forest and I was so inspired by all the creatively decorated birdhouses that we saw. In today's video, we are going to create our own birdhouses using items from the dollar store. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on. Here on this channel, I share fun activity ideas every week. My name is Marsha, I have two daughters, and when it comes to crafts, I like to keep things practical, low prep, and inexpensive. So if those are the kind of activities you're into, make sure to subscribe. Alright, so let's start with our trip. This is Redwood Park Fairy Forest in British Columbia. It has a beautiful walking path, a large tree house, and then deeper in the trees you will find the section that is filled with birdhouses that have been painted and left there. We had a lot of fun looking at the creative designs and were inspired to make our own, and that's what we're doing today. For the supplies, I went to Dollar Tree and Dollarama. For the birdhouses, I found a wide range of houses. There were large birdhouses priced at $4, some in between priced at $2.50 to $3, and then there were also these tiny houses priced at $1. Alternatively, you could also go with one of these pre-painted houses and then add your own decorations using a Sharpie marker, stickers, or paint. I let the girls pick what they wanted. My youngest chose the mini house and my oldest chose the birdhouse. Let me know in the comments below which birdhouse stood out to you. Next, we needed some paint. Because these will be outside, washable paint wasn't an option, so I took a look at their acrylic paints. They have individual bottles priced at $1.50 each. If you want to get these, I would recommend checking out Dollar Tree instead. They have the same ones, but they're priced slightly lower. I also spotted this set of tempera paints for $4. I like the colors and the size of the paints, but I did a quick Google search while I was at the store, and it said for things that will be outdoors that acrylic would be better. So ultimately, I settled on this pack of 10 acrylic paints for $2. I didn't pick up a paintbrush because we have them at home, but if you do need some, there were a lot of good deals. There were several packs with a variety of painting tools ranging from $3 to $4. This one had a roller included as well, which I thought was cool. And then they also had these smaller packs of brushes as well. During our walk, I noticed that there were quite a few houses decorated with stickers. So I checked out the sticker aisle as well. These little ladybug ones were probably my favorite. They also had these butterfly ones, flowers, and lots of gem stickers to choose from as well. Lastly, I took a look at a few bird decorations inspired by this birdhouse. At Dollar Tree, I found these bird decorations, and I also saw some cute butterfly ones as well. And then at Dollarama, they had owls, birds, and butterflies as well. Now it's time to paint and decorate. Before I end this video, I wanted to share some exciting news. I'm actually in the process of creating activity cards and I'm super excited about this you guys because this is an idea I had years ago that is finally coming to life. So if you're someone who often scrolls through Pinterest or Google looking for activity ideas, then you're going to love these because they're going to save you so much time. It's essentially a deck of cards with activity ideas, the supply list, and directions. So I've created a sign up page where you can enter your email to receive a free sample of the digital version of these cards as well as a special discount code for when the cards are finally released. All the information will be in the description box below. For more painting ideas make sure to check out this video and make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on to be notified when I post next. I have some great videos planned that you won't want to miss.